Hey guys, it's me Nijdax here and welcome back to another reaction and this time it's of Summer Game Fest. They're gonna showcase some uh, maybe games or game gameplays. I'm not too sure. Uh, I'm going in this completely blind. I don't know what's gonna happen. So, yeah. We call this new technology Nanite. Here okay. is the future of Unreal Engine running live on a PlayStation 5. Oh, <gasps> awesome. they're gonna go so go. Wait, no way. PlayStation, PlayStation 5 gameplays? This has to be the right way. No freaking way. That cannot be true. What the frick? What game is this? No way, dude. Uh uh. The lighting. Look at the lightning. Lighting. Man. Before we continue, let's I was about to say lightning, look at some of the key but it's lighting, demo. dude. Much of what you see was built with Quixel Mega Scan. Look, that is Instead so realistic. Versions, no freaking versions, way. Which typically only be used in film. There are around a million triangles each, and thanks to virtual texturing, they all use 8K textures as well. Oh, damn! Then I can an insane number of triangles very quickly. There are over a billion triangles of source geometry in each frame. That Nanite crunches down losslessly to around 20 million drawn triangles. What? Jesus. What does that many triangles look like? This isn't noise. <laughs> These are the triangles, each a different color. Most are so small that they look like noise. Nanite achieves Damn, the scale I'm like, to the pixel. I'm like a sucker for this. I really like, you know. This amount when of they showcase these kind of things. To be pixel I'm a huge well, fan of these things. Can do that too. Uh, how the game Speaking is actually lighting, made. All of the lighting in this demo is completely dynamic, with the power of Lumen this that is even awesome. includes multi-bounce global illumination. No light map. Okay, I'm no really excited computer. about this because the game Xbox AI, thing was a disappointment. All of that beautiful lighting is gone. With Lumen enabled, we can move Damn. the light and the changes instantly. Look at that, dude! Okay, let's keep the lighting going. is so real. I want to know what this game actually is. This could be a new gameplay footage. Of, made some of a new game to our audio system as well. Okay, audio. Convolution reverb allows us to measure reverberation characteristics of real spaces, like actual caves that we sample, and reproduce them in virtual spaces. Sound field rendering allows us to record and playback spatialized audio. Wow, that rumble! That's awesome. All of this adds up to a more immersive experience. Okay, I'm gonna keep guessing what this game actually is. Is this a new Horizon game? Uncharted game? Oh. Batman? Form of bats was created I'm just joking, I'm just joking. System. Particles in Niagara can now talk to one another and understand their environment like never before. Hmm. We've also added a ton of new functionality to run fluid simulations like you see in the water below. Damn, okay. Nice. The demo runs on our chaos physics system. Here we are using it to accurately simulate the rigid bodies of the falling rocks and the cloth of her scarf. Dude. Is this uncharted? <laughs> Or is this just like now a normal gameplay so footage complex, of we've needed to nothing? Improve our animation systems to adapt. Because this is kind of just a showcase reveal. Motion warping, which dynamically modifies IK and body position to look more natural. For the character to more realistically interact with the environment, we've added the ability to trigger seamless contextual animation events, like her hand on the door. That's promising. Damn. Dynamic GI is amazing, not just for speeding up iteration, but also for its impact. Oh wait, gameplay. this cannot be Any light uncharted. source can move while still having beautiful bounce lighting. Dynamic nice. Dynamic illumination means specular as well, which you can see on all the metal surfaces. You can even see the Niagara-powered bugs reacting to the light. Oh yeah. Lumen not only reacts to moving light sources, but also changes in geometry. Ooh. Damn. 
Remember we mentioned high poly assets? This statue was imported directly from ZBrush and is more than 33 million triangles. 33 no million? Normal maps, no authored LODs. Wow. And we can do more than a single statue. There are nearly 500 of that exact statue at the same detail level placed in this room. What? For a total of over 16 billion triangles from statues alone. Over this entire demo, there are hundreds of billions of triangles. So with Manite, you have limitless geometry, and with Lumen, you have fully dynamic lighting and global illumination, Ooh. all running on a PlayStation 5. Look at that. That is so cool. Wow. Now this is the real power of next-gen console. doesn't need to be constrained to small rooms. It can stretch oh. all the way to the horizon. Oh! The portal, it's open. Okay. Is this horizon? Oh god. What? What? Oh my god, I'm a huge fan of this game now. I want this game. Dude. Holy shit. That game just completely changed. It was going like this, medium, average, and then boom. It's time to see what's next. Was that just a showcase? No, wait. What is this? Oh, Unreal Engine 5. Oh, yeah. I heard that they were gonna, like, announce this. Cool. Coming 2021. Alright, guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. I don't know if this is an actual game. Or it was just a showcase of what is the real power of Unreal Engine 5. My assumption is this is just a showcase. You know, but I would loved this if this was a game. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. For now, bye guys.